13 years ago, I started my fitness journey because I was too weak to play cricket. Fast forward to now, I've back squatted 185 kilos, front squatted 160 and cleaned 140. But what did these last 13 years of training look like? In this video, I'm gonna go through all the mistakes I made so you don't have to and get this sort of progress in half the time. As a 17 year old cricket player, I was playing as much as I could and I was doing all right. Went away with a trial for a cricket team and not only was I not good enough, they also told me that I wasn't strong enough. How can you be too weak to play cricket, right? Well, I was. The help I then got from those coaches to help me get stronger was non-existent. So I grabbed a couple of my mates, headed to the local leisure center gym and started my journey on becoming stronger. Our sessions were full of mistakes, incorrect rep ranges, incorrect range of motion, and most importantly, really poor nutrition. But at the time, I had no idea. And why would I? Now, 13 years on, I got a bit of a better idea and you'll be able to avoid all those mistakes and take a better approach to your training. After years of pretty low progression in my pursuit of strength, I found CrossFit. Now wait, I'm not saying everyone needs to go and do CrossFit out there. Now, this opened up whole new different training methods and paired with great coaches at the gym, my training completely changed along with the results. I got myself to 185 kilo back squat, 140 kilo clean, and 160 kilo front squat. And now most importantly, I know what I was doing wrong in those first few years. Now, I can't exactly remember the first session we did, but I'm guessing it was probably bench and three sets of eight. And this was the first mistake. If you're developing your strength, you wanna keep your reps of your sets relatively low. So you're looking at between one and five reps. Then with these reps, hit about four to five sets with three to four minutes rest between the sets and you won't go far wrong. So this would mainly be considered for your compound movements and your speed movements. So stuff like your bench, your deadlift and squat, and then your counter movement jumps, your vertical jumps, broad jump. Your accessory work, so your bicep curls and your lateral raises, they can all stay in those eight to 12 rep ranges as these work smaller muscle groups, which are typically used for control and stability rather than generating strength and power. One thing I distinctly remember as well about a bench press was that I used to do half reps and not the good half either, mistake two. I think the excuse I used to use was that I had a bad shoulder and I couldn't go all the way down to my chest. Well, I'm 30 years old now and I can do bench through a full range of motion. So that definitely wasn't the issue 13 years ago. But learn from my mistake and don't do this. To me, it's dropping the weight a bit so you can get through that full range of motion and do this now. You'll benefit massively in the future. Let's have a look at a few other exercises and their full range of motion. This is what squatting to a full range of motion looks like for me. You can go into a lot of detail with the squat, which could be a whole other video, but at a minimum, let's try and get past parallel. A dumbbell row, you want to try and get a big stretch at the bottom of the rep. This is where you'll get the most development. Your shoulder blade will come around, but that is fine. You don't want it in a fixed position. Finally, a bicep curl. Again, get a big stretch at the bottom and curl the weight until you can't get any higher. The stretch at the bottom is so important, so don't be tempted to cheat this when you get tired. My last and final mistake was my nutrition. I was a really skinny guy, and I didn't realize at the time how much of an impact eating would have on my progress. And it was one of those things that probably took me the longest time to realize when it really shouldn't have. I used to grab a bag of mutant mass, take a shake a day, think that was gonna solve all my problems. You know, there's two main things when it comes to nutrition and getting stronger. The first one is going to be eating an adequate amount of protein. Double your body weight in kilos and that'll give you your protein intake in grams for a day. The second point is to eat more calories than you're burning. Now this doesn't need to be a massive amount of calories more, but just make sure you're going slightly over. What I found best for me was tracking my food. So I'd grab uh, an app and enter all my food for a week to see what I was averaging every day as the daily calorie intake. Then from there, up it slightly for the next week and track my weight as I went. Now, if you adopt these three simple things, you are on the right path to getting stronger. And I can assure you that it won't take you 13 years like I did. And if you want more detailed tips on what I used through my journey, go and check out our ebook in the description. And if you want to see even more mistakes that I made on my journey, go and check out this video.